What is up suckers? The World Cup draw is finally out, and I really need to analyze the result. After 4 years waiting for the World Cup, it is finally here. We just need to wait a couple of months to see Felagad raising the World Cup trophy. Oh my god I'm so excited. This is Neymar's World Cup. We will celebrate this World Cup together. Let's go Ney. Ashley, why don't you play a game called Get the Fuck Out of Here? Besides, everyone knows you have the same chances to do Neymar as Chile to win the World Cup. World Cup, fellas, let's hold a minute's silence for our beloved Chile. I'm just kidding. No one likes Chile, especially Argentinians. Anyway, let's analyze this shit. Group A doesn't seem to be a pretty tough group for the Russians. It seems that Putin has been doing some work lately. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only now every Russian player has a lot of pressure, so if they do things like this one they will be fucked. The worst problem of the Russians on Group A is Uruguay and Dracula. I mean Suarez. The intelligence department of Russia has been working on some solutions for that problem. I personally think that Egypt and Mohammed Salad can be a problem too. They have been playing good lately and this wanker is fast as shit. It, Saudi Arabia won't be a problem definitely. These guys are the Benevento of Group A. Group B is kinda a waste of time. If I were FIFA, I would consider just to let Spain-Portugal happen. And according to the result of that game, the one who wins goes to the next round as the first team of the group and the other as the second. Iran and Morocco are winners just because they will be in the World Cup. Group C is a playoff group. Luckily for France, they are the only team that didn't have to go to playoff game to be in the World Cup. Those wankers better fuck the other teams. Group B is a death group. Probably the toughest group of the World Cup. Arjun, I mean Miss Intina has been playing bad, but they still have a semi good. He's not fella good, but he's still pretty decent. Hopefully his teammates doesn't fuck his World Cup up, like they did with the last one and the last two Copas Americas. Good. Iceland is the team we all love, and we all want to see how they celebrate. This wankers are awesome. These other kind of guys you should be in love with Ashley, real man. Group D is also formed by Croatia, a team that's not playing really good right now, but they have Modric and Rakitic, this team has one of the best midfield of the world. And last, but not least, Nigeria, these wankers are the combination of strength and pace, in my opinion, the toughest African team. To be able to defeat these beasts, you will have to run the whole game, because they will, lol. The analysis of the other groups will be out soon. If you like the video give us a thumb up. If you didn't, you can stick that thumb down up your butt. But.